Welcome to the DK Custom Products channel. My name is Dwayne and this is Kevin. And today we're gonna come at you guys with some more dyno results. But before you change the channel, it's not the typical dyno results. These are shock dyno. A dynamometer for shock absorbers. Before we get into these dyno results for these shocks, we'd appreciate if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because that would really help us out. So what is a shock dynamometer? Right, other than what you've seen in the short clip previously, you know, it's just a machine that tries to mimic the action of a shock. Right, and so what happens, you notice there's no spring on it. Mm -hmm. You remove the spring, all shock dynamometer is measuring the valving action on rebound and on compression. Over the years, I've done quite a few, quite a bit of testing mm -hmm. on shock dynamometers as we've been developing suspension and testing suspension. This is the first time we've videoed doing testing on a shock dynamometer. Mm -hmm. Now, if any of you guys have been following our channel for any amount of time, you know we like to test things. We test air cleaners, we test uh, tuning, fuel management devices. Um, as you can see, we even test suspension. And what you want to do when you're testing suspension is you test, you know, anything you can test. You know, a lot of shocks have a preload adjustment. A lot of the premium shocks out there have a dampen or a rebound adjustment. So one of the tests we performed when we had access to this dyno was testing the difference between setting one, two, and three on a particular set of shocks that do have a rebound adjustment, just to show kind of what the varying degrees of that adjustability is. You know, a lot of people uh, ride factory suspension. <laughs> and on the factory shocks, there's like one, two, three, four, five clicks of preload. That's it. Like there's no range of adjustability. They're just one size fits all. So what you're paying for when you purchase a premium set of shocks is a range of adjustability. You can dial those shocks in to where you want them to be. But the way manufacturers come to the conclusion of where they need to be is by testing. And that's what we did. So the most important part of testing is seat of the pants, mm -hmm. but it's always good to be able to put it on a machine, see what is happening, mm -hmm. and maybe make some changes based on what we see on the machine and then see how it feels right. when you're out riding. Right, because it takes a lot of testing, tuning, product development to put a shock on the market. So you want it to be the absolute best of the best. You don't want to just see, say it feels good on your ass, you want the numbers. You want the numbers to back it up. What is important with the shock absorber is that it keeps that tire in constant contact with the ground. So you have the best maneuverability, the best handling, and the safest ride. And then also that, that while that tire is staying in contact with the ground, that is giving you a comfortable ride, that it's not bottoming out, that it's not too stiff, but it's a good plush ride. So what shows up on the chart that we're looking at here isn't that important in and of itself. It's only important if it helps you get that good quality ride. So let's look at what we're looking at on this chart to see how that can help us get a better ride. There are six lines, one, two, three lines, and then another four, five, six lines. And see, this is zero right here. Above the zero is showing compression damping. Below the zero is showing rebound damping. Zero pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 150, 200, 250, and so on. That's how much force it's taking for the shock to be moved because the damping is slowing it down. It's cushioning it. It's making it so it doesn't move as easily. And what this is, this is the speed of the shock moving per second. This is compression damping. This is rebound damping. This is the force. This is how many inches per second the shock is moving from hitting a bump. And we're going to hear John explain these three things here. If, if you were to ride with uh, 
with these three different settings, what would you say it would feel like? So if we're looking at the red uh -huh. here, which is on setting one, uh -huh. right? So you have the least, let's, let's just take, for example, at 10 inches per second, okay? So you're looking at right here at about 175 uh, foot-pounds of force, okay? So when you put it to, th to three, that's going to be at the same inches per second. It's going to be 225. So about a 50, about a 50 pound difference here. And then when you go all the way up to five, now you're down in the 375 range. So you have a significant difference here. So on the twin adjustables, we set the preload for the weight for the bike and the weight and everything. But we always put the uh, damping adjustment on three. Mm -hmm. Right. And as I said before, you know, we don't know what your road conditions are be, your riding style. And as you can see from these results, while there may only be five settings, they they vary drastically between one and five. So you never know. You might be on the Dragon, for example, really smooth, great road quality, high end banking curves. You want to click that to setting four, four or five, where you know you're not going to hit any debris or bumps or anything like that in the road. Most likely, you get peak performance, peak handling out of it. But you never know, you might be on an unpaved road with a lot of little pea gravel, something like that. You want to eat up those small vibrations, dial it down to one or two. But, you know, three is the happy medium, right. kind of encompasses all road and conditions. And we have had some customers who found that with one shock set on three and the other shock set on two. Right. Or one shock set on three and the other on four, mm -hmm. that that gives them a little bit more adjustment. So if, you, if you're on four on one and three on the other, that's like having both of them on three and a half. Yeah. Okay. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, shoot us an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com or please leave us a comment below. Y'all ride safe out there.